Hey boys and girls, welcome to a brief look back at XCOM Enemy Unknown. Now this is a uh, bit of a knee-jerk reaction to uh, XCOM 2 getting announced yesterday, which uh, put me in the mood to play Enemy Unknown, go back and give it a go on the uh, Xbox 360. Um, so I've been playing it a little bit and I'm going to pr provide you a brief look back with this video today. Um, uh, XCOM 2 is, unfortunately, for me at least, exclusively on PC, uh, from what we know so far. Um, but Enemy Unknown was on the 360, that's what I'm playing on, and it's a really good game. So, um, uh, a few disclaimers, first of all. Uh, this is a one-off video, not going to turn it into a series, because, as you can tell, the recording quality here is top draw, and I don't really want to spoil you guys. And uh, also, the background noise, if there is any, uh, apology, apologies for that, but um, it is the summer here in England, which means it's raining and windy, and I've got my uh, orange juice here, there it is. Uh, you don't, you know, you can have all your Roxio game captures and Hawpork HD PVRs all you like, but you don't get this sort of point of view, this perspective of someone's orange juice over at uh, IGN. So with all that said, I'm going to unmute this game. And we're going to load a game that I started yesterday. There it is. So one of the cool things about this game is that you can um, customise your own squad members. Um, the game gives you a set list of people to recruit, but you can customise them. Um, the Situation Room provides constant monitoring of every member nation I'll in the I'll just shut this guy up because I know what he's going to say. Uh, but you can customise them and um, change their names, change their appearance a bit. It's all preset, but um, that's one of the cool, fun things about this game. So naturally what I've decided to do is uh, make a squad out of some of the editors here at Game Espresso. Uh, this is going to be our third operation here today, um, if you're counting the tutorial as the first one. And uh, in my second one yesterday, we, uh, we unfortunately witnessed the death of uh, Tyler Driscoll, who was killed in action. Uh, via an extraterrestrial force that we're trying to fight back. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Patrick Nguyen is uh, recovering from his wound. So with all that said, I'll just unmute this. And uh, I think we're going to go into the third operation at some point pretty soon. So uh, I think what I've got to do here is go to mission control by the looks. Commander. Dr. Volland reports that research is progressing in the labs, but it will still be some time before the project is complete. While we're waiting, our local satellite network has just come online, and we can now begin scanning for new activity. The process could take several days. Okay, so... Uh, scan for activity? Can I do anything here? So I'm not a veteran at this game. I did play it... Um, I can't remember when it came out, but I did play it... Uh, way back when for a little while and then never finished it because it's really hard but it's really fun as well so let's just scan for activity I guess. Commander, schematics for the scope targeting system are complete. They have been sent to engineering. Okie dokie, so we've got some weapon fragments. Research complete. Commander, with this research complete my staff and I currently have nothing to study. I would like to ask your permission to autopsy the alien cadavers retrieved from your last two field operations. I'm sure you would agree that if we're going to defeat the aliens, we must understand their physiology. I, I would agree. Uh, select xenobiology. So I'm still in uh, part of the tutorial phase, as you can see. Um, so xenobiology. What we're going to do is crucial to gain a fair understanding. Da, 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 da. Thank you, Commander. I will let you know when this research has been completed. Engineering online. <laughs> it appears Dr. Shen's staff have finally figured out how to turn their machines on. Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. Mm. Now you see. I wanted to show you the gameplay, but uh, <laughs> I've got to go through this first, uh, I suppose. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. 
With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Scope. What's the scope? This advanced targeting module integrates with XCOM's active HUD system to offer a significant increase to our soldiers' aim. Okay, fair enough. Do that. Uh, yeah, just press A. Keep pressing A. Fabrication of Getting achievements. Scope device is complete. It has been delivered to the armory. Commander to the barracks. Commander to the barracks. Right, now this is the fun part. We're going to the barracks. Uh, let's do this. New items and weapons from engineering will always be delivered directly to the armory, Commander. View soldiers. So here we are. Select one of your soldiers. Um, so the only soldiers who are fit for action at the moment are myself and Liam Dunn, uh, the sniper. Because, uh, as you can see at the bottom there, uh, Patrick's out for another three days, unfortunately. Um, what? Press A. There he is. Anyway, I can't, what's it actually, what, what does it want me to do here? Uh, I'll select myself. Go on then. Select loadout and press A. Frag grenade and equip the scope from the locker. There it is. Commander to the situation room. Commander to the situation room. Okay, so that's just replaced my uh, frag grenade with uh, better aiming for my guns, by the looks of it. Uh, so, what does it want me to do now? Uh, situation room, here we are. Commander, the council has requested a word. Hello, Commander. We require your assistance with a unique matter. We expect that you will give it the same level of attention as you would for any other project objective. One of the captives abducted by the aliens has somehow managed to escape. If you could retrieve this woman, she may have valuable insight into the aliens' operation. We'll transmit the coordinates now. Farewell, Commander. We know you will not disappoint us. Mm. A little bit of pressure. Sounds like we better get to it. Let's do this. We've intercepted a signal indicating blah 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 blah. By the time your troops are on the ground, da, 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 da. rewards, rewards. Let's go. All right, this is it. This is the squad selection. We look forward to seeing your progress. It's a little bit loud here for some reason. Um, so at the moment we have myself, bam. We have Liam, bam. And uh, like I said, Tyler's dead. Patrick's wounded, we're going to have to make two new soldiers, so uh, actually I will need volume, I'll just turn it down a bit. So let's uh, fix these guys up, we've got a guy here from that looks like Ukraine, let's just customise him and we're going to call him Chandler. Tate. Just some guy who works for Gamespresso. Uh, race. Ooh. Could make that Chandler. No, we'll go with that. Voice. What does Chandler sound like? Here we are. I kind of want uh, Chandler to sound like this, hang on. Good to go. Alright, I'll stop messing around, sorry. Okay, so this is uh, one of the main things about the game really, you can just customise your guys as much as you like uh, with these presets, so on the head here I can change it to look a little bit more like Chandler. Uh, I'm going to go with number 5. That looks quite a lot. It's almost, actually, it's uncanny. Then we can uh, go to skin colour. You know, this guy lives out in uh, the US, so he's going to be pretty tanned. I think I'll go with uh, number 3. And then hair. Ooh. 
That's very, that is very Chandler-esque. Number three there, might go with that. Hmm. Cheeky little mohawk. It's not really a mohawk, is it? I'm going to go with number three, lads. Hair colour, uh, a little bit lighter than that, perhaps. Not quite that light. Hmm. Maybe that one. And then I'll get rid of the little beard. Bless him. Uh, somehow. I think number one. There we are. And that looks... Tell me that doesn't look like Chandler. So let's back out there. And uh, he's good to go. We've got RK Tate. And now we just need to edit this guy over here. Who shall I do? Uh, sorry, I don't have any women in my team, by the way. I don't know how you get them. <laughs> Unlock them. It's just giving me all these guys. These dudes. Uh, Australia. Is that the Australia? Oh, I don't know. There's a lot of flags that look like that. But because it looks like that, I'm going to give this one to uh, my favourite co-host of the Xbox podcast. And that is Alex Canellan. Now the problem here, ladies and gents, is that I don't know how to spell his surname off by heart. But I'm going to guess something like that. You know, at the end of the day, he's going to... At the end of the day, at the end of the day, he's going to die anyway, at some point, pretty soon. So uh, doesn't matter. Race, same race. Voice. Yep. Head. Uh, head. Hmm. I give him that head. Hair. Now the problem here is that. <clears throat> See, I don't know, that could be the New Zealand. I'm terrible. Um, all these hairstyles are pretty short. Because to be fighting aliens, you've got to have short hair. But Alex has fairly long hair. So I think I'm just going to have to uh, go with that one. And uh, we'll make it... We'll make it... Uh, it's not ginger. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, you could make it orange, make it yellow. We'll just leave it at that, and uh, good to go. Right, you guys are probably extremely bored by now, so let's start this mission. See who dies first. Someone's bound to die. I'll turn it back up a little bit. So yeah, let me know if... Uh, let me know if you guys are excited for XCOM 2. I probably won't be able to play it if it's only on PC. And this video is going to be an absolute bitch to upload because uh, I don't know how long it's going to be, but it'll probably take days or weeks to knowing my internet. Uh, so what are we doing? Find the target, score the target, protect the target, 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 target. Tokyo, Japan. There's the lads. Game Espresso lads. Take note of the extraction zone, people. As soon as Anna Singh has been located, you are to bring her back here for immediate evac. Okay. Locate Anna Singh. So, we just have to... I bet this is going to get absolutely tits up. But we just have to, basically move forward Let's do this. Uh, until we get somewhere that alien is unusually human in its appearance they could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis looks a bit like slender man so uh, I'm gonna send Liam over there I think he can handle it can he open fire 55% mm, chance not going to uh, risk that one Let's select Chandler and uh, dash him over here behind this car. And then we can get Alex up here. And then we need uh, Liam to use up his other turn. You can zoom out. Oh, didn't know that. There you are. And uh, I'll just get Liam a bit closer to the action here. 
He's a higher level than uh, Alex and Chandler, so. Slenderman's getting close. Oh, he's going to open fire on me. Or was that Alex? Oh, that was Alex, I think. Yep. So, uh. I should probably get a bit closer as well and then try to hit him. Let's go over here, use that one turn. We should be able to slaughter this guy. 75%, let's do it. Look at that. Bam. I saved your ass, Alex. So now we just got to move forward. The thin man has been deceased. Uh, don't really want to... Actually, Liam will run through that. He's a warrior. Okay, he's just got poisoned. My bad. Didn't know that would happen. Let's move Chandler up here. And then we've got to move Alex. So you just got to move all your guys forward at once, really. I'll make him avoid that poison. Yes, um, sometimes you want them to split up so that one of them can flank the aliens. Uh, oh dear. Liam's panicking. Liam, what are you doing? Is that, did he shoot me then? Oh god, Alex has panicked. Why are they panicking? Are they shooting me? Bloody traitors. Getting backstabbed here. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do anymore. Let's just dash up here. Hope for the best. Hope these uh, teammates of mine stop shooting me. Oh, Chandler's in the open there. Gonna have to take cover somewhere. Uh, let's move Chandler. There's not much cover. For some reason everyone over here is panicking, like there's no tomorrow. Can Chandler shoot someone? No. Alright, I'll just move him a little bit further up. Over here. And then obviously he'll want me to move again. Great. So I'm just going to have to move him there. Now I'm doomed, because uh, there's no one over here to protect me. I've just got hit critically. Oh no, he's going to shoot me too. This could be the end. Oh dear. He has killed uh, Alex Canellan. I'm. I am so sorry. His time in the squad was short-lived, and mine doesn't look like it's going to last much longer either. Uh, I need to try and get in better cover here. And then we're going to have to deal with some of these guys, so... Oh, I need my grenade about now. I'll just open fire. Might not hit, but... What can I do? I got him. I'm a boss. I had a promotion. Right, let's uh, let's get done to sort some of this out. Come on, Liam. Yes, sir. Let's get him a bit closer to the action. We're a free man team now. Oh, I think uh, Chandler's got a grenade actually. Let's sort. Oh, I can't. Fine. Let's uh, move Chandler up there. there. Aliens are moving. I don't think I'm on much health. And I missed. Liam's in good cover. Right, it's my turn. I'll deal with these. i use a rocket. Bit of a waste on one alien. And the shot is blocked anyway, so... Could potentially move a little bit closer and maybe get their shot. Hello? Oh, crumbs. What's going on here? Looks like we've found Anna. So we can shoot that guy, or we can shoot. Is there no one else I can shoot? Okay, let's shoot that guy. Bam. Right, Liam. 
handle this. Oh, the aliens moved, I forgot. We're just, we're just gonna have to get a bit closer. Chandler, he doesn't really have any special moves by the looks of it. Let me just, uh, can't remember how you rotate the camera. Brilliant. Is it D-pad? It's D-pad. Right. That's not a good place to go. Just go over here. Oh, oh dear. Oh, we missed. Right, there's Anna. Over here! I'm here! I can quite clearly see you are there. So let's uh let's go and sort her out. Double time. Double time. You have to help me. There's just so many of them. They're everywhere. Great, now we have to escort her. Commander, we should get the VIP back to the Sky Ranger as soon as possible. We are so gonna get flanked. I can see it coming. Let me just uh, hide into cover here. Prompt. Oh, I can't. You're pretty close. Should be able to hit him from there. Alright, let's go around here. Mm. Go on then, let's give it a go. Might not work. And it did. Nice. Yeah, she she would, let's be honest. She would definitely. So now we have to uh, get out of here, I guess. Oh crap, I didn't realise I was controlling her then. There is alien activity all over the shop. There's another slender man there. A soldier or alien will fire at any hostile target that moves within their field of vision. Crikey. Let's uh, not get in their field of vision then. Uh oh. I got in his field of vision. He missed. Alright, can uh, Liam deal with this guy? He certainly can. Take him out. Take him out, Leon. Nice. What a shot. Liam. We know who we want as a sniper. Let's do this. If we, uh, if I ever join the army. Those things. They had so many bodies in there. I just don't understand it. Let's get, uh, let's get Anna out of here. There's not that much cover over here, actually. Maybe behind there would be a better idea. Yep, the alien's probably back. Uh, am I out of ammo? Reload. Didn't know I had to do that. Right, Liam. Nothing to deal with. Let's move forward. Chandler. Let's get you up here. safety yet. Let's get it down there. Enemy forces headed your way, strike one. Get Brilliant. ready. Brilliant. There he is, right in front of the uh, evac point, which is pretty typical. Just dash up here. Right, let's see if uh, Liam can... Actually, Chandler's a bit closer. See what Chandler could do from this position here. Eyes on oh god. Look at the way he's bending over. That's horrible. Right, uh, I kind of want to leave this Anna here. I'll move her forward a little bit though. Oh 
Oh god. And it's been poisoned. I need to get much closer. Liam, I need your sniping skills right about now. Let's get Liam up there. Right, open fire, Chandler. Do it. Nice. That's it. I think that is going to be the last of them. Should be able to get Anna out of here. Try and avoid that poison. But, um... Crap, what's going on? Uh, it hasn't been the perfect operation. We, uh, we will never forget Alex Canellan's valid contribution to the cause. Uh, Liam, let's move him around here. Let's move Chandler around here as well. You know, we've lost uh, we've lost too many good men. I'm hoping that uh, Anna's not going to get poisoned by running through here. Thank you. Nice. Oh my God. Thank you so Mission complete. Okay, so we killed six aliens. We unfortunately lost one XCOM operative, gone but not forgotten. Um, so on we go. Back to HQ. Okay, so that's going to be it for this uh, video for the gameplay. Let's just see the uh, report here. There we go. So, Operation Lost Stallion debrief. We've got uh, myself there. Actually got promoted, but I've been, oh, look at that. Gravely wounded for 15 days. That is, that is grave. I don't know how we're going to cope in the, uh, in the next mission without my eight kills there. Um... It's, it, it wasn't it wasn't a perfect operation by any stretch even even Liam there who was uh, extremely crucial in his contribution has been wounded for five days and uh, it pains me to say that Alex Canellan went KIA uh, in Tokyo Japan uh, however Chandler Chandler Tate has been promoted by the looks of it and he's absolutely fine and we should be getting Patrick back as well for the next assignment so hopefully all is not lost ladies and gentlemen um, Despite some of the uh, some of the horrible deaths that have occurred here in Team Game Espresso, uh, nevertheless, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And just before I wrap up, uh, I want to give you a quick glance at my setup here because you know, early days for Game Espresso, I'm not a video editor. Um, you know, this is makeshift. I just want to show you how it's all done. So actually, let me pull up my blinds to uh, make it a bit brighter. That creates the uh, glare on the screen there. And uh, just going to give you a quick idea of how I recorded this video on my mobile phone. There we are. Recorded it on a... Uh, so this is my uh, Nike shoebox. This is how I uh, record my videos. I can recommend this one. And uh, simply lent my phone against this... Uh, this bobblehead. Borderlands bobblehead. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's... I mean, we're on a tight budget here at Game Express, so you can't expect, you know, the most amazing things. But nevertheless, there we... Uh, that's that's really how it's all done. That's how we make videos here, and, uh... Well, I hope you haven't got a bad first impression. Most of the other videos are a lot better than this, but, um... Either way, it's from... Uh, it's goodbye from me, and goodbye from this guy, whose name I can't remember. So, uh, until next time, you guys take it easy.